And that's why I think this United story and the DEI story yes. hits so hard because we've all been in the back of a plane when the turbulence hits or when you're flying through a storm and you're like, I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw get into the cockpit before we took off. And I feel better now. Thank you. No, I mean, about like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, well, that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't have done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't that's have done that before. That's not who I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created. I, I, I'm, I'm so what are your thoughts on, on what this nonsense we just heard? I don't mind it, I man. Got, I got. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. This man don't know the difference between a dolphin fetus and a and a human fetus. So his I don't his words are really, it's, I'm only upset because it's his followers. Yeah. And the people that try to back some of the stuff he say, like he say some good stuff over here. So why don't you like really that that's my part. That's my that's, that's how I be thinking. Like when people say, Well, he got this good over here, got this. do you keep a broken clock? <laughs> no. Because you get it, rid of it. Yeah, you get rid yeah. of it, bro, because it, it doesn't work. You, this is like a person. Like, do do you believe that? Do you mm -hmm. think you should think like that, or or is he influencing people to think like that? That's my kind of old issue. But like him saying it, yeah. I mean, I know people out there feel like that. There's some people that feel worse, man. I know I feel some type of way when I see certain people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If I see like an old lady, like in the uh, like a drag racing car, I'm gonna question that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying off the look. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. But for me, it's just like he don't know the difference between the human feelings and the dolphin feelings. That's who we. Choose to listen to. Let me stretch. I know you felt some type of way about it. I know you was up, quite upset about it. I I, I absolutely was. Mm -hmm. I absolutely was. And it's for one, there's a war against like AA, uh, by AA, I mean uh, affirmative action, which they've done away with pretty much. Mm -hmm. And like now a new version is like DEI, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion, mm -hmm. where they try to get people of color and women involved in these, in these uh, institutions, whatever it may be, whether it be college, whether well, it be jobs, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and for me, doing doing this is an attack to a way to exclude people of color and that. Because the issue we face historically in this country, that if we don't have these programs and if people Seriously. don't take uh, initiative to be more inclusive, companies end up being more white and more male. Mm -hmm. And that's just because you tend to hire people that you relate to, people you know, and people that look like you. We just have those inherent bias. And most companies are white-owned companies. Mm -hmm. So that tends to happen. So if we don't make a, um, an inserted effort to do that, then that's what will happen. Right. And, it's, and it's dangerous because his, like we have a tendency, especially like that side of the country, where it's like we have this false sense of meritocracy that the best people always get the job. Right. Whatever, which is not true. Like no, I just no, said, no. for the reasons like that, all, the best person don't always get the job, and like especially in this instance when we're talking about United, he's blaming the left for the thoughts he's having, but the people who keep saying that the people that are being included are, are qualified are the people on the right. Mm -hmm. Nowhere has United or anybody else doing a diversity, equity, inclusion program ever said that the people they hire are not qualified. Or do not meet the qualifications. Mm -hmm. The only people who are suggesting it are people like Charlie Kirk. Right. And that's what's upsetting me. Is he's like, the left is doing this. No. All United say is we want to be more uh what's the word? I mean, we want to be Inclu more, inclusive. We want to be more intentional mm. about being inclusive and getting people in the door. That's all they said. They never said they was hiring unqualified people. The only people that assume that are him. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Why is that when you see a black pilot, you automatically, you automatically. I mean, what? I mean, come on, man. That's 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 what that's what I'm saying though. But that's, like, that's obvious. If you don't, if you don't try to be more intentional about including uh, people of color and women or whatever, mm -hmm. then you get the landscape that we've seen, and you still have that false idea that the right people get the right job. So when you we because it's not like before we had these programs, people saw a black pilot and they was like, oh yeah, he deserved to be there. Yeah. They didn't want us there then either. And I think I that study I was showing you where uh in uh at, at jobs they they did a study on like how did the hiring process, especially for like upper management jobs yeah. as far as black and white people. Uh white people when they the uh, 
hire them is more so on potential, mm -hmm. whereas black people is like, what have you done? Yeah. What are your credentials? What did you do? You know what I'm saying? I seen that at my job. You know what I'm saying? I seen that like, and he was like, uh, he was like, he was re related to somebody. Yeah. He was related to somebody and it was like, we was trying to get somebody young and, and we can give him ideas and fresh, but it was like two females um, that worked there that was way more qualified mm -hmm. than him, like easily. Yeah. And he just jumped the line. Like he wasn't even a, like a manager that long when he got that job. Yeah. So. Cause that's what just tends mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. You can say it happens for this reason or that reason. Mm -hmm. And my problem is it's the same reason I had an issue when they struck down affirmative action with the with the colleges. Mm -hmm. For one, people like um they already done away, the Supreme Court did, did away with quotas and point systems. So there hasn't been like, oh, you have to have a certain amount of black people at the job, or you have that you give certain mm -hmm. points during the application with black. They already ruled that was unconstitutional. Right. What they were saying is you should you can uh use diversity as a reason to hire somebody or like included to be more intentional basically mm -hmm. you still decide whether or not you have somebody in the company but people like him are paying it as if like they just meeting quotas or whatever so and I also uh that's why asian people mad now yeah even though they got yep. rid of it and guess what y'all still not getting in mm -hmm. because affirmative action wasn't a problem mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because nobody's like i said when it came here's what here's what bothered me there'd be a hundred positions right mm -hmm. 90 of them be taken up by white people Mm -hmm. or somebody white it'd be 10 people of color and like women it'd be 20 white people mad at the 10 uh people of color or women that they didn't get the job talking about y'all took our slots first of all it's 20 of y'all y'all weren't gonna make it anyway <laughs> second of all it's not just them who took your spot it's mm -hmm. other more qualified people that took your spot but for some reason in their mind the people who aren't qualified and got ahead was the people of color so the question is why why is it that you assume that all the white people there earn a spot and that they they deserve that spot, but your wrath goes to the people of color? I mean, you asking why? Like you know what that is, man. For but one, they don't but they don't know why, which is annoying. Yeah, uh, they I mean, and I'm thinking they hard. Charlie, they Charlie Kirk probably know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the people he's influencing they don't. don't understand they don't. what they actually buying into. They don't. And that's what annoys me. Mm. Like, what is that? Because like I said before, if you really care about uh, meritocracy and people getting on, getting in because of their, uh, their work, you be you would have a problem with all the uh, college students that are getting in because their parents bought uh, the school library yeah, or they yeah, rich yeah, and all yeah. that. But they don't care that about wild. that 30%. Hey, of, do you know that went back up? That went up since they, since they of got Of course it yeah. did. Of course it did. But they don't really care about that. Mm -hmm. What they care about is shifting blame on people who are qualified who nobody said, no, nobody doing these programs are saying the people mm -hmm. that we are hiring, the people we letting mm -hmm. in school are not qualified. Except for people like him, but he wants to blame the left for an idea that he's peddling. I don't know how you even got that. I don't even know, I don't even know why you would like blame the left. But at this point, he's he's going down too. That's another reason I don't pay attention to him. That, all them people over there, like the Daily Wire, those people, uh, you see Ben, he got to be in music videos now. Yeah. It's like they just doing stuff mm -hmm. to stay relevant. And I'm cool with what he oh, like doing because like you spiraling. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm cool with it. Yeah. But it's just like, bro, you just, at this point, you just grasping. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just like trying to stay in things to get ratings and stuff though. like that. So It'd be the most mediocre people had the audacity to uh, question somebody else's qualification. It'd be Charlie Kirk, I can't community college dropout ass or... Uh, Steven Crowder's failed comedian ass or Matt Walsh's ass want to question somebody's uh, qualifications. Like, what what do you qualify for? Except yeah. making the bad wrong decisions. bad decisions Steven and bad takes you know over saying? and over again. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why, again, that's why they falling out. All they did was fail their way into a grift that they can make money off of and, stay, and they claw mm -hmm. to stay relevant. By Wrong, saying bro. stupid stuff like this. That's and I wrong. blame the people who co signing this. Especially dude on the right that had the baby face, like, oh, like, oh my God, he's really struggling. <laughs> Yo, man, like for people for people to be co signing, I'm like, like, how do you feel in that moment, like in those podcasts when you watch them? You know, some people they be like, I I ain't think he's gonna say that. Yeah. But I can't just be like, tell the person that, that's, you know, writing my checks that Hey man, man, you, yeah, you tripping chill out, in the know, moment. Yeah. Man, you chill. Out. I can tell you, hey man, hey, yeah. ha ha. So let's go I'm to another su subject. Like, what you, what do you do in that moment? Mm -hmm. 
Because you can't like really not not say nothing. You have yeah. to say something. Mm-hmm. So in that moment, that moment right there, that's where I think they have to agree, or they look like they're gonna agree. Yeah, I think they can't they can't do that in, in the middle of that. So it's I'm not really mad at them world. neither on that. I'm just mad at the fact that I'm mad. I'm mad at fit. the source. I mean, you yeah. peddling these ideas. You get views like that? stupid get, enough to believe it, or you know what you're doing. You still getting views like that? Hmm? You still getting views like that? Yeah. I mean, by people that rock with him. Oh well. Because you know they eating that up. He right, bro. They don't, they don't think that anyway. Because bro. they, I'm. He's he's convincing people that their racism is the fault of other people. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I don't like that part. Like, like that part right there. That is some that part. That is some twisted. But thinking. you know, you know what I take though. I take that the fact that you acknowledging racism and the fact that you thinking that. Yeah, I, I will give it. Like maybe maybe that's some like reverse thing that the left's doing. I'm gonna make you think Jedi, that I'm making Jedi you racist stuff. to make you acknowledge racism. But they doing it to themselves though. Yeah. We gonna bring up rage as a topic to make you rage against it, mm-hmm. but your rage is gonna leave you full circle back to like the same conclusion. Yeah, it's y'all fault that yeah. I feel this way, but you do feel yeah, that but this you is bad. Feel it, but you feel you, like this is bad though, yeah. right? You understand that you are judging this man's <laughs> yeah. qualification based on his skin. You, 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 you understand that though, right? Even if I'm making you think that you, that's yeah, what you're you, saying. You, feel, you say that's what you feel. Yeah, because that's what you're also saying yeah. is that you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. So you should be fine yeah, on that plane. But you're still now. making decisions based on how you feel right now. Do you mm-hmm. recognize that, right? I just want to let you know. That's all I got. Short and sweet, man. This is, he trash. Yeah, man. You know, I wish the best. I wish. I wish he get what he deserves. That's my. That's my. That's where I mm-hmm. deal with things, man. But in all honesty, man, he's just a he a trash human being who don't know the difference between a, a human fetus and a dolphin fetus. Yeah, and that's how I always see. Like once I see, he said, "Absolutely, I believe that." You believe that? Okay, that's why I was like, "Oh yeah, my boy, a super you fool." You looked that up before you he said that, super didn't fool. You? Yeah. So yeah, I don't really pay no mind to him, man. He's just, just another idiot with a mic. Yep. So all right, what y'all think? You you do you agree with him? Do you agree that you know the left is responsible for his racist ideas? Do you agree that you feel the same way when you see somebody in a PlayStation B? Or do, do you, you think that the more we see people in different mm-hmm. roles, the more comfortable you get with them? Cool, because yeah, man. Every time they give us really? resources, you know what black people do? Get we excel. Get them. But you know, whatever. Get them. Every time, TK. <laughs> every time you give us a little yeah, bit, man. we do so much with it. That's what I'm saying, man. We, we did open heart surgery. My man was a janitor. Can you imagine that? Like a, a janitor is doing, he was the first person to do open heart surgery yeah. successfully. We gave you light. You know what I'm saying? We gave you, we gave you air conditioning. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? We every made the time. light bulb better for y'all. That was a black man. We gave you PB and J. Right, man. it was like right around that same time. Look, yeah. Then what was the other one? What's my man? Oh, the cell phone. The man that helped uh, make the cell phone technology. We gave you Wi-Fi, G uh, GPS. Come on, man! Every time. Mm-hmm. So for people to keep doubting us because of our skin uh, skin color, it's like for what? And that old girl, she just found a way to uh, get rid of cancer with lasers. I think. That's a black woman. Take up. Uh, but I mean, it's cool. Like you know, what I'm saying that's that's how you rap when you think you have a certain type of power that you're losing. Yeah. Regardless if it's it's because of you, you your whiteness or because you are losing your views, mm-hmm. you lose. You feel like you are losing you power, lose. so you just kind of just saying whatever to get shot by you to get clicks. Mm-hmm. Which I understand, man. You know, you know, you know if you are gonna go out, go out swinging. You know. Yeah. But if you get caught in them streets, don't. You get caught slipping. Mm-hmm. Right, we can wrap it up. All right. You got that news? Now that's it. All right, man. That's all I got, man. I'm TK, aka uh, Most Def. And I'm Darius, aka Jesse Brown. And this, this is my gap. gap.